Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to pick up an IFR clearance but with a bit of a twist. I'm going to take you out to a private airport, the Flying 10 Airport uh, in Archer, Florida, uh, with my student Tim. It's kind of an off-the-cuff video we decided to shoot out there, but it's a private airport. All right, so you're maybe thinking, well, how do I pick up my IFR clearance out there if it was really an IFR day? Well, typically at a pilot-controlled, untowered airport, you would just call up approach from the ground. But in our case, you can't get approach on the ground. Well, okay, well, we'll try to contact them on a GCO, but there is no GCO out there. Well, you could maybe call approach on the phone. However, I'm never a big fan of bugging those guys. They're always so busy. And a lot of times, I don't even have access to the phone number for that approach controller. So the fallback is to call the flight service station, that same number you call to file your flight, find that 1-800-WX-BRIEF, call them on the phone and use that to pick up your IFR flight plan. So I'm gonna show you how we do that in this video. By the way, this video is showcasing my student, Tim, who has never actually copied down and read back an IFR clearance. He's seen me do it a few times. So not only is this a really tough clearance, but it's also going to be his first clearance. And then what, after this video, we'll come back to me real quick. We'll do a quick debrief of everything and kind of show you guys a little bit, uh, uh, you know, what went right, what could have been better, etc. So I'll stop talking. Let's go ahead and cut to that clip. Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com. And as you guys can see, or let me adjust this a little bit, we're kind of out uh, in the middle of nowhere. No offense, Tim. Uh, this is where Tim is based. And... Um, one thing that I get asked a lot is, you know, what would you do uh, if you're at a airport like this, a private airport in this case, and need to pick up an IFR flight plan? Now, that's not the case today. It's a beautiful day, but Tim and I have been out here when it's not such a pretty day. So what Tim's going to do uh, is he's actually going to pick up his IFR flight plan on the phone. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'll just kind of talk what Tim's doing. Uh, all we're doing is we're calling the actual um, weather briefer, the same... Uh, Gainesville Flight Service Station. I gotta whisper now. Here's your paper, Tim. So we're calling up the, that 1 800 uh, WX brief. You're gonna ask for a briefer, you're gonna tell them where you are, uh, everything else. And now he's connecting to a briefer. you good hold music. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? Good. My name is Tim. I have November 5284 Tango. I'd like to pick up a, a IFR filed flight plan out of zero, Juliet 8, please. Okay, and yeah, where are you going? Uh, to Albert Witted, uh, SPG. At runway uh, 36 out of departure out of 0, Juliet 8, and can be airborne in uh, 15 minutes. Okay, so to make sure I have this uh, accurately, it's an IFR clearance request November 5 to 8 Fort Tango departing at 0, Juliet 8, flying 10, airport in Archer, Florida, to the Sierra Papa Gulf Airport, Alfred Witted, St. Pete, Florida. Up runway 36, and you can be airborne in one five minutes. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. Uh, stand by, please. Clearance on request. All right. So what the guy's doing now is he's gone back and he's now coordinating with Jacksonville approach and Tampa approach and really seeing where these guys want us at. So he's hopping on the other line. Uh, to work to get us our clearance that Tim is about to copy down. One thing you'll notice that's different about this IFR clearance here in a second, too, is they're going to give us uh, what's called an expect uh, further, uh, uh, you know, or vo I'm sorry, void if not off by um, a certain time. So you'll, you'll hear that here um, in just a second as well. So we'll uh, kind of fast forward through that and wait till they come back to us with Tim's clearance. All right, sir, you there? Yes, sir, I am. All right, I'm hey, going to give you a few minutes, so let's make this up. <laughs> okay. DC clears November 5284 Tango from the Zero Juliet 8 Airport to the St. Petersburg Albert Witted Airport via AIDS Direct. Enter controlled airspace heading 140. Climb and maintain 3000. Expect 5000. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 118.175. Squawk 6227. Uh, ATC release of November 5, 
1709, uh, frequency 118.175, transponder 6227. Uh, is that Dade and then direct? Correct. D A D E? D A D E S, Dade's intersection, yeah. Dade's intersection. At 1 4 right. degrees, uh, at, at 3000, expect uh, 5000 at 10 minutes, 1 0 minutes. Right. Correct. Very good. And that's 1 4 0 on the heading, 140. 1 4 0 on the heading. Thank you, sir. All right. Take care. Have a good flight. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. All right. So pretty neat. A, a different way to grab that IFR clearance. If you notice, as far as our, uh, you know, void if not off by time, they really didn't give us a lot of time there. And, and I, I want to emphasize that just because they told you, hey, basically you got four minutes to get up in the air, that is no reason to rush. That is no reason to skip a run-up. That is no reason to skip a pre-flight, etc. Okay? You know what? If you got a clearance like that, now we were very fortunate in our situation. We had already pre-flighted. We were ready to get in there and crank that airplane. We still took our time though. We did a run-up. You know what? We were a little bit after that 1709 that they told us to be at, but they were still waiting for us. Everything was still A-OK. -okay. The world didn't fall apart in that case. Yes, uh, the approach controller was busy, but we still made it happen. You cannot rush in a situation like that where they're telling you, hey, we, we got to make this happen. You got to get there. You got to get flying. Don't let anybody talk you into that in that case. Now, as far as the clearance goes, the clearance wasn't bad. Uh, the readback wasn't too bad. Tim did a good job. Um, kind of went backwards as to how I would have done it. I would have started, you know, at the top, you know, clear to, you know, St. Petersburg and read it all the way down. Kind of went backwards with no big deal. It's Tim's first clearance. So, uh, did a great job. Uh, we figured out the dates, intersection, asked for the spelling. Always great to ask for the spellings on those intersections. But overall, not too shabby of a job. And guys, just another tool to add to your flight bag. Calling 1-800-WX-BRIEF, the actual flight service station, to pick up your IFR clearance at a pilot-controlled, non-towered airport uh, is a great way to grab that clearance from a private airport, a, a pilot-controlled airport, um, on an IFR day. So, hope you guys really enjoyed this. Any comments, go ahead and leave me a uh, comment in the box below on m0a.com. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember... A good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Hey there. If you think this video was good, you're going to love the over 400 other videos inside our exclusive members only online ground school. Ground School Academy members enjoy weekly live webinars, mock check rides, and customized written test prep. Ground School Academy members not only have access to the number one rated online ground school, but also the best guarantee in the industry. Pass your check ride or we'll pay for it. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more and become an online ground school member today.